So the next thing you want to do is create your email messages. So when creating your email address messages, what I would suggest is that you start out creating a new email template. Now, you don't have to create an email template, but if you do create an email template, you can reuse these and make edits to these on the fly whenever you want. Now, if you just go in and you create an email uh, group here, th that's it. You created that email group and that's your email group that you're going to use for your campaign. Again, if you select the email template, you can, when you're going in to create your email group, you can just select from a list of the templates that you have already set up. So creating a email group, you want to give it a name. And I would suggest, uh, based on your, your campaign that you're going to run, kind of name these things the same. It will help you stay organized when you get ready to build your campaign out. And you'll see what I mean later when we start building the campaign. So under email message, uh, here, is, here is an example of an email message that you can set up. Uh, if RoboContact finds a business name during the search, that's where these short codes or message tokens can be inserted into your message. So let's say the company name was uh, Excel Roofing. It would say, hello, Excel Roofing. Uh, we noticed that your website, and then it will list the website here, is in need of some updating, uh, and we would like to help you. So this can, can be used exactly like this. Uh, and you don't have to use these message tokens or short codes in your message. This is just an example of showing you how that can be done. Um, to start out with, I would probably uh, suggest maybe not using this just until you get more familiar with the software and just put a plain message in here that you want to uh, send out to your customers or potential leads. You can also create follow-ups. If you click on follow-up, you can create a follow-up message. And this message can be set to go out however long you want it to uh, after your first message goes out. So in this case, it's five days. And here's the follow-up message. Now, after you create create all of this and you're ready to go, you can add another follow-up. You can go ahead and save it. And you can also test this. So if you put your email address in here and hit test email sequence, it'll actually send a test out to your email address, which you can validate that you received the message here and it looks how you want it to look. Now, again, it, if you create a template and the templates and the templates look exactly like the message we created, the difference is, is that you can reuse these templates over and over again. So for example, I created this template here. And now when I go into create a new email group, well, let's say I've never cre I never created one. Now, when I click on create a new email group, I have this option here to choose from existing templates. And as you see, here's a template that I created that uses that same uh, layout or email message that I showed you before, and I'm done. And I can reuse that as many times as I want. I could also go in and edit this for another niche if I wanted to market to another niche or find leads for another niche. I can go in here and simply just uh, edit edit one of these and call it, you know, whatever else I wanted to call it here.